Today, I got another unboxing coming to you for Unboxing Friday, and we're going to be looking at the DJI Osmo Action 4. Now, this is the adventure combo, and the main reason why I picked it up is because I was looking for a top-down shot. Now, it does have some great features on it, just like the Pocket 3, which is 4K 120. We got 10 bit. So my footage should be on par with each other when I'm using those two devices, but let's crack it open and let's see what we got. All right, so when it comes to, let's actually close this up. We're going to unbox this. It made it real easy for us to just peel the tab right here. All right, and we can see this is how the unboxing look for the combo. We have the action four right here, and then we have the accessories right here. And we have one more thing back here, which is the tripod looks like. Yep, it's a handheld tripod. I could take this off and yeah, that's kind of cool. It has a quarter inch at the bottom. At least I think that's a quarter inch at the bottom that can mount on to other tripods. So I like that, kind of simple. All right, so first we're gonna look at the accessories we get with it and we can move some of this stuff out the way. All right, so in the box we have a salt pack. We have a cable, USB-C to USB-C, which honestly I'm not gonna use. I have a lot of them already. This right here looks like what goes on here. Since I'm not familiar with this system, I've never had an action camera before. Don't quote me, but we're gonna put it together so you'll see, you'll learn as I learn if you never had one. After that, we have some documentation we can put that to the side this right here uh don't know what this is oh okay so i think this is the mount that goes around the lens if i'm not mistaken but we'll see in a second we're gonna crack this open this just feels like a battery but i don't know oh boy was i wrong okay so we got the branding with dgi on it it's a button oh no i was right this is a battery oh wow it's three batteries in here all right, so we, I guess we don't have to worry about batteries. And I'm assuming, yep, it's USB-C and we have plenty, well, I have plenty of USB-C, so I don't have to worry about keeping this charged. And this right here, this, I'm not 100% sure what this is. It looks like just some rubber, I guess it goes on here. I don't know. So next I'm gonna open up this. And for this we have, all right, so this is the actual, okay, so this right here is an extra, a extra, I guess, lens cover. So that makes sense. This is the actual DJI Action 4. It's very, very light and it's definitely made of plastic. So it's kind of interesting to see how it's gonna hold up. Okay, this is the case for it. That makes a lot of sense now. All right, this is our case with a few more accessories to go to it. The box is empty. This right here just seems like maybe an adhesive. This right here is what I think those pins are that sits and that holds it inside, they screws. And then over here we have another mount piece. So this is everything you get in the box when you order the adventure combo. This is everything you get. Get two mounts, this is everything. Now, let's figure out how to assemble it. First things first, that's the lens right there. And the first thing I know is we need to put the battery in. So we're gonna open that up. Okay, that's the USB-C port right there. And that's where the battery go right there. So you just push it down, slide up, battery goes right there. We're able to grab one of these and see how well it worked. Looks like it goes in like so. Push it down, close it up. And now what I wanna do is, I actually wanna put it in this case. Okay, so the way we insert this together is we're gonna sit it right here. We're gonna raise up and we're gonna slide it in. We're gonna make sure both buttons line up. We're gonna lock it in. Now I'm not gonna tell you how long it took me to figure out how that worked. Nice little while. So now we could take that little piece of plastic off and now we have it in the case. And it looks like we got a screen on both sides. So we're gonna just hit the power on button, which I'm assuming is right here. So right now it's asking us to set it up. And so we can, I guess, go to the Mimo app. It's kind of like the same process with that we did with the Pocket 3, I'm assuming. So we're going to connect. I'm gonna say accept. Actually, I gotta click it on device over here. I'm gonna say agree. I'm gonna say next. That's correct. Right now it's activating. It's asking me if I want a two year plan. I got a two year plan on the other one, so I'm just gonna grab a two year plan on this one as well because I don't think I got insurance on it. So I'm gonna say view. 
I'm going to do this right quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so right now it just automatically started doing a firmware update on its own without me doing anything to it. So I guess that's kind of cool, but I was honestly still looking for how to get back to doing the protection plan for two years. So we're going to let this finish up and if DGI can make it a little bit easier to be able to pick up the subscription plan, that would be awesome. Because once that window went away, a lot of stuff was popping up at one. When I tried to get back to it, it did not let me. But it's nice to know that their software, it just updated on its own. I didn't have to do anything, it just popped up. So that's kind of cool. And right now it's installing the firmware. So this just makes sure we're running the latest updated operating system so we can have the latest features. That's basically what this boils down to. And it looks like it does an update for the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. All right, so that update is complete. I can say done. And now I'm gonna try to get back to it one more time. I'm gonna not connect to the device right now. All right, so I was successfully able to do the two year subscription. It was only 36 bucks, so that's kind of cool. Now that I have that peace of mind, we're able to take a look at it. All right, so as soon as you turn it on, you can see that it instantly detects it. So it says camera right here. And looking at this really quickly, so I'm gonna actually, I don't have an SD card up in here, but we're gonna put this right here so you can see what I'm looking at. And honestly, looking at the field of view on it, it's, it's not bad. It says tap to zoom, gives you a quick little breakdown of what's going on. And it seems like to me, it's just like the pocket. It seems like it's running the same software as the pocket run because all the gestures are the same. So let me show you what I mean. If I flip up, then I can change out my resolution. I can change out the resolution. I can have it as, then down here, I can change it to my frame rate. I would probably do 30 frames per second, but it goes all the way up to 120. So I can break it back down there. Then after that, if I pull down all my same settings, so I can orientation lock if I use that right here, this is your settings. I can come through here, change up all my settings as I see fit and fix it up. So this is very familiar because it feels like the same software or the same operating system as the Pocket 3. It says this right here, you can create and manage custom modes. This is quick switch with menus. I'm assuming this is the screen brightness or if I wanted you to be able to see this a little bit better, I probably could turn down the brightness. And then after that, let's see, we have enable or disable voice control. So we, it's fairly simple. Then over here, we have our pictures. We can take photos, videos, slow-mo, and we can even do a time lapse on here. So I'm going to put it back to video. I really don't like that sound that is making. So I would probably come up in here and scroll down to where I see sound, where it says sound high. I would say sound mute, and then I would change it out. And again, I've been playing with the Pocket 3, so the controls are a little bit familiar to me. The next thing I would want to do is turn on my guides because, well... I'm used to guides, so I would turn on both of those just so I can get my guides and my crosshairs. And now at this point, I would be able to really just start recording or doing whatever I want to do with it. And when I turn it like this, so if we turn it like this, I can see me. So that's kind of cool that I'm able to see me. I'm kind of squished in, but I can still see me. So let me turn it towards you so you can see. But first, let's just clean off the lens right quick because I was had my fingers all over it. So if I show you you, you can see how it looks all squished in. It's a compressed image or a shrunken down version. Very small screen on the front, but I kind of like it. So let's see how it would look to set up everything else. Now, I do have a receiver for it. I do have the mic two for this. Now I have it because I bought the creator combo or something like that. So it came with an extra one, but then I also went out and purchased the actual DJI mic. So I do have it to work with this and that's what I would use it for. And with this in the case, it is a little bit heavier. That's for sure. So let's figure out how we put this together. So I'm assuming this goes in like this and, oh, okay. So this screws in and it tightens it up. So it's actually fairly simple. I thought it was gonna, I thought I was gonna have to pause this and watch a YouTube video on it, but this allows us to 
crank it. So I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between these two. I guess this one seems much fatter. Maybe I wear glasses, so don't judge my life. It it looks the same to me, but this could be a little bit fatter. So we're going to take this one off and we're going to put this one on. And the swap outs form is really easy too. So now I could just twist that in and it locks in. Once it's locked in, it's locked in. So now I guess the only question is how do I connect this? Oh no, that's too cool. It is magnetic. Are you serious right now? It's magnetic and it's locked in. So it would literally be me just like this talking or if I was doing something else, I could hold this right here and I'm able to adjust it to how I see fit. So for me, the way I want to do it is with a top down. So I would be able to have it like this. Now, doing it now, this doesn't make sense because everything looked warped. I don't know if it's because of the field of view or what, but it definitely looked warped. And let's see. Okay, we can see that's 2K. So I guess if 4K, it doesn't matter. We can always zoom in later on and post. But I mean, all in all, honestly, it's pretty cool. I mean... I don't think I would reach for this over my Pocket 3 or over my ZV-1 Mark III, Mark III or my ZV-1 Mark II, but I do like this. It 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 is it's nice. I think if you're just getting started and you're looking for something super simple, then maybe this would be an option because it's literally you push the button, you got your little stick, and you just start talking. It's kind of cool. Now, I do have to get an SD card for it. I don't know why I didn't think that this would require an SD card, but I'll grab an SD card for it and we'll go from there. Actually, I have an SD card. I'm going to put the SD card that's in my pocket into this one. And I bought an SD card for my pocket, for my DJI pocket. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I mean, long story short, this is it. This is the setup. I'm able to control it. I'm able to see it from my phone. Now... When you get pretty close, I just hit the microphone, but when you get pretty close to it, you can see, like, I don't know if you can see that picture, how good of a quality that is of coming through the phone. But when you get close to it, you can pretty, it, it looks good on the phone. Like it really looks good on the phone, but it doesn't look that good coming from just looking at this front facing camera on here. It doesn't look that good, but on the phone, it looks really good. And I like the fact that you can actually change it up and you actually see everything you're doing. So it's kind of like this can be like your mirror where you don't really have to use this and you can place this down and get your footage exactly how you want, get the look that you're going for and it works. I like it. Now, will it help me make more content? Honestly, I don't know. It seems different. The setup was super easy. The extra pieces that I have, like I said, I don't really, this is my first time having an action camera. So I'm going to have to see what type of cool shots I can get with it. The only other thing I picked up for was this. And this is just a lens cap that I picked up because it doesn't come with a lens cap. So it's just a lens cap you can put over camera, as you can see, to keep your camera safe. Other than that, I could power it off. I'm assuming I just hold the power button. Well, actually, that's not the power button. That's the SD card. Well, it says no SD card. That's the record button. And this is the power button on the side. So hold it and it powers off. Now, I think for me personally, after using the pocket for a little while, I think what makes DJI cameras like pretty good, like really, really good is the app that it comes with in my personal opinion like if i'm using the pocket 3 or if i'm using the action 4 the main reason why i'm doing that is because i can control it with my phone using the app which i think is stellar so that's my first impressions of this honestly the picture quality i i didn't see any bad picture quality the first one i was looking through here wasn't that great but the moment i looked on my phone that picture quality was crisp and it was nice hopefully it came through in the video when i showed it to you but all in all i'm gonna have to play with it and i'll get back to you so next time if you like this video give me a thumbs up and your boy only gonna get better at these unboxings i know i know i need a little work but it's cool though i'm new at it Till next time. Later.